Good day subscribers. Today I just want to share with you something that I set up on my computer that's super helpful and maybe you guys will find it helpful as well. So the way I work I have one monitor right in front of me in landscape mode and a monitor slightly to the side of me in portrait mode as a lot of programmers do. And this is super great for when I'm working on long stretches of code and that way I really don't have to scroll too much on my portrait mode monitor to see the entire section and I'm able to see almost the top of the code to the bottom of the code as long as the file is not too large. And on my landscape mode monitor I'm able to have two sets of research using Windows Snap feature. And Windows Snap feature is great and it works really well and it cuts my screen in half and I'm still able to see a good chunk of this research and a good chunk of this research. But on my portrait mode monitor if I try to use Windows Snap feature instead of giving me a nice chunk of information up here and the second chunk down here, it cuts my features like that. Now I have two really thin windows instead of two wide windows. On the landscape mode, this works great because that's exactly what I want. But on the portrait mode monitor, I want two wide windows instead so that I can see all of my information up here and my second bit of information down here. Now the program that I installed on my computer to help me do that is called Power Toys. And this is a Windows add-on. So it's actually part of Windows, but it just doesn't come with your regular installation. And with Power Toys, what I'm able to do is change the snap zones so that I can put one zone up here, and then my second zone I can put down here. And that way I'm able to see all of my information up here in a nice wide window and my second bit of information down here in a wide window. So now let's look at how to get Power Toys. To download Power Toys, you go to this website, github.com slash Microsoft slash Power Toys slash releases. You click on the newest release and then you scroll down and download the MSI. It'll download here, just like any regular program. And then, if you go into your downloads, you'll find it right here. And you can install it just like any other program. Once you have it installed, it'll open up on your computer like this. And now, if you want to set up your layout so that you can have two wide windows on your portrait monitor and two tall windows on your landscape monitor, you go over here to Fancy Zones, which is a part of Power Toys. And what we're going to do is use the Launch Zones Editor. But before we do that, we have to go down here and make sure Keep Windows Pinned to Multiple Desktops in the same zone when Active Desktop changes. We have to make sure that box is checked because we're using multiple monitors, so this is the multiple monitor uh, checkbox. So then we're going to go here to Launch Zone Editor. And if I open it here, it's going to allow me to split my current monitor into as many sections as I want. So I can make focus sections where kind of give me these kind of regions. I can add screen area for each one. So now I have uh, three options or I can go down to two. I like to use two. But if we go over here and we drag this power toy settings over to the portrait mode monitor and we click zone editor again, now we have the ability to split up our second monitor. And so I like to split it up in two rows and that's how I get this feature that you're seeing. But if I wanted to, I could split it up into three sections or even more. I like to use two, that's what works best for me. But whatever works best for you guys, that's what you should use. So I just wanted to show you guys this. I found it super useful for my work and hopefully it helps you guys out too. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you have any comments, drop them down in the comment section. Thanks, and subscribe.